can you start a car with just AA batteries? That's what we're going to find out today. Now a car typically requires about 12 volt DC to start the car. And each one of these is only about one and a half volts. And at full charge, it's about 1.6 volts. So I made this contraption here. I made a video about this and I put a link in the description. So I made this contraption here that uh, I can put nine of these in series. So the total voltage coming out of my connector here is about 14.4 volts. And coincidentally, this voltage is the same voltage the car alternator puts out when your car is on and when it's charging your battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this whole contraption here that has nine of these AA batteries in series to try to jump start the car and see if it can start the car. I'm going to zoom in and show you the inside of this PVC pipe that is actually got AA batteries, this kind, inside the pipe. See through the holes there. That's the other side. And I've got nine of them in this pipe. Well, the idea of using AA batteries to start a car may sound crazy, but I'm going to use some simple math to show you why this is possible. Let's say you have a small compact car, four cylinder, 1.8 liter engine, and the average current required to start the car is around 400 amps and the time span is on average about 3 seconds sometimes it takes less, sometimes it takes more but on average about 3 seconds at 12 volts so um, I can calculate the amount of energy required to start the car is 4 watt hour even though there's a lot of current you only need about 4 watt hours to start the car so here take amp times volt and times the hour and because we only spent three seconds so we have three divided by 3600 seconds because there are 3600 seconds in one hour now let's talk about double a batteries a typical double a battery usually rated around 2500 milliamp hour or two and a half amp hour i need to have a pack that is more than 12 volts to jump start the car so I have to put at least 9 in series or 13 and a half volts and at 2 and a half amp hour right? still 2 and a half amp hour because these are in series so the amount of energy that is in 9S AA battery pack is about 34 watt hours volts times amp right? 34 watts hour so it's clear that this battery pack, which is 34 watt hour, has more than enough energy required to start the car, which only requires 4 watt hours. And of course, when you use this to jump start the car, it only goes down to 12 volts. So you're not going to be able to drain this pack down to zero. It would say about 50%. And even at 50%, 17 watt hours is still a lot higher than the power required to start the car. So here is the car I'm trying to jump start. It's actually a van and the engine is six cylinder, 3.5 liter. So it's not a typical car. The engine is actually about twice the size of a regular uh, compact car. So it does take about twice the amount of power to start this engine. The battery on this car is on its last leg and I've used my load tester to test this battery and it shows bad. Now let's try and see if I can start this car. Alright, are you ready? That's it. Just hear clicking. Try again. That's it, cannot start. It just turned off the LED light on the dashboard, so it doesn't even have enough power to turn on the display. 
the key is on there we go just flash and then it turns off by itself so the power is really low let me show you my setup here I'm trying to get it ready so I got my jumper cable here it's connecting to my battery right now and this jumper cable also I also saw the couple wires going to my XT60 connector and this is where I'm gonna connect the AA battery package to this connector got my voltmeter connected to the battery to show you the voltage of the battery also have my amp meter to show you the current flowing through the battery after I connect the AA battery and the other end of the jumper cable is open because I don't need it let's double check for the last time before I hook it up it's the voltage of the car battery through this connector about 10 volts yeah. so the same here and I have my AA battery pack here and let's check on the voltage of the AA 14.4 volts on the AA battery pack here we go ready about 2.3 amp one point nine amp right now one point five amp actually one point four amp okay and the voltage is increasing it's eleven point eight five right now I think it's gonna take a while so I'm just gonna wait until that amperage go down quite a bit now it's still about one amp it's eleven twenty seven PM right now. See how long it's gonna take. It's about midnight, so a little bit over half an hour, and uh, it's time to start the car. All right, so it's time to start the car. I've never tried this before, so I don't know what's gonna happen, and I'm kind of getting nervous. So let's see what's gonna happen. So last night was a big fail, but this one here is a six cylinder 3.5 liter engine and by the way I already replaced a new battery. So I'm thinking to myself what if I replace it with something smaller like this one here. It is a Toyota Corolla with 1.8 liter four cylinder engine. So I put the battery in here and it can barely fit you can see it's pinching the air holes it's quite big check on the voltage now 10.5 volts that's pretty low now let's see if we can start this car that's it so it cannot start the car all right, so getting ready here. Got my amp meter and my voltmeter ready to go. Got a fresh AA battery pack here. Let's check on the voltage of this pack. 14 volts. Now let's plug it in. Let's see what we got. Ready? Wow, 6 amp initial current. 
That's pretty good. That's a lot better than last time. One point eight amp right now. Twelve point four eight volts. That's pretty good. Six twenty one PM right now. Let it charge for a little bit. Alright, so it's 6.45 p.m. now, so it's been about 25 minutes. And right now, we're at 12.69 volts and 0.2 amp. So, I think we're at the end of the charging process here. Right, I'm ready, so I'm going to go ahead and start the car right now. Yay! Start it! So there you have it. Can you start a car with AA batteries? And the answer is no. But yes. No. If you have a van, a car with a bigger engine, say like three and a half liters. And yes, if you have something small and compact like this one here, 1.8 liter, four cylinder, then yes, you can start it with double A batteries. That's one thing about this battery is that it's really old. It's about eight years old and it's on its last leg. It's not just discharged, it is bad. It has one or two bad cells in there and it's on its last leg. And it started, you can see it started at 10 and a half volts. And that's very, very low for a car battery. So if your battery is just discharged because you forgot to turn off the headlamp, and it's just discharged, you can definitely use double A, nine of these to be exact, and uh, jump start the car. And that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.